Columbus Home helped me see the value of my education, and I was able to pass all of my classes. Now I look forward to graduating from high school and going to college. God bless you. Thank you. I can't believe I am warm again and my belly is full. When I came to Columbus Home, I only had the clothes I was wearing. Now I'm leaving with three bags full of clothes and a new pair of shoes. You have my undying love and gratitude for everything you have done for me. I have made friendships here that I know will last forever. It's a good place, and everyone was good to me. I might want to come back someday to visit. Learning how to communicate with my parents was huge for me. I wish I didn't have to leave, but I know someone somewhere needs my bed. This is a safe place to be. The staff are nice and take good care of us. Columbus Home taught me the importance of following rules and obeying laws. I love, love, love it here. I want to stay. It's a very nice place. People here treat you with respect. Samaritan Place was so supportive of me at a time I wasn't able to care for myself. Thank you for a safe place to come. Samaritan Place has been my shelter in the midst of a storm. My name is Charlie, and I'm a, resident, a permanent resident here at Samaritan Place. Hi, my name is Jennifer Johnson. My name is Deborah Thurman, and this is my seven-month-old son, Gabriel Boy. Hi, my name is James McKeon. I'm a resident here at Samaritan Place. Uh, they asked me to speak about it for a moment, um, and I've been thinking. And I'd say my thoughts tend to go towards um, hope. Sometimes it's a precious commodity, and uh, they've given me back that. Uh, obviously, the people are very nice. Uh, they they know how to treat people in need and in the needs they have at the moment. And um, I'm coming back. I feel pretty good right now, and I'm very grateful for their help. I actually went to a Salvation Army in Roan County looking for some help because me and my husband and my two kids were about to lose absolutely everything we had. Um, we had both been laid off of our jobs and had mortgage, car payments, you know, the whole, the whole thing. And um, went in to get some assistance and it just happened to be that Catholic Charities was there that day. I had never even heard of Samaritan Place before I come here. I thought it was a nursing home when I got here, but the way I got here was I was homeless on the street. I was sleeping on the side of the creek bank. I was about half drunk, went to sleep, and I woke up that morning about five o'clock, and a big old three or four foot possum was looking me back dead in my face. Uh, before I come to Samaritan Place, I was sleeping in a car. It wasn't even my car, and um, I had uh, just pretty much come to a wit's end, and a friend of mine told me about uh, Father Regan Samaritan Place, and I was scared to come, but I was pretty much at the end of uh, being an addict for a long time, um, needing some support, needing a warm place to go. So. Um, I forced myself and walked up the hill and um, thank God Father Regan was at the top of it. And if it hadn't have been for Samaritan Place, I would have died. I could not have existed by myself. And this place has kept me alive. And these are good people here at Samaritan and, and they will help take care of you as long as you follow their rules, which are not holy. We was homeless for three months. We was put into family promise. Um, it was a really tra tough transitional time to be in the shelter. It was the first time it ever happened. Now I'm uh, writing a book <laughs> of all things. Um, life's good. I've got, I've got uh, um, 
focus. I've got um, I've, I've got Father <coughs> Father Regan has um, helped me realize that um, integrity and character are uh, God messed that up. That's so okay. Bad. Give me a minute. I can do that one. Father Regan has uh, taught me about integrity and character, not by sitting me down and talking to me about it, but uh, showing the support that he does by doing what he does. And without it, <laughs> I don't know where he's. Um,